Well, this is it. It's about half noon, quarter to one, and it's already gone 31. My project this holiday was to repaint the front windows in the living room, and this morning I sorted out the mastic. It hasn't rained in weeks. I can't help but wonder how many trees are going to suffer. This is the walnut. As you can see, it's not healthy. Here are the potatoes, I'll bring them in. And it cools down a little bit. And next to it is a rather unhappy looking cherry tree. Because the stream there has been dry for a very long time. Briere just said no, it's given up. I wonder how my new grass will do. Speaking of that, look at the state of the oaks. Even they're suffering. And the willows next to the pond, or what used to be the pond. Sadly the big buddley or butterfly bush I think has been lost. It's not that far from the well actually. just through there. I think you know something's gone horribly wrong in the world when even the bramble's given up. I have two hazelnuts. This one mostly sheltered seems to be okay. Well this one looks anything but okay. The massive bay tree is not happy but I think that will be all right. It's enormous. Sadly, I think the dead thing here is the honeysuckle. That would be a shame. We planted it when we first came out in 2002. I think the apple tree will be happy to have a drink as well. There are some apples. The carrots have been a disappointment this year. The leeks have a long way to go. I think they're ready in about November. But they're still alive at least. As for the melons, they won't be ready for my holiday, but they are there, they're coming. Pretty much the theme this summer is desolate burnt brown. Except for these things. Given how thermal shock and lack of water behaves, it might be a year before I know about the state of these trees. I got some water for fixing the guttering on the ground. Who would have thought that something so small would weigh so much? The idea is to yank out all the weeds there and redo the concrete along the channel that the water runs down. And over here as well. It's like that because the concrete is cracked. Time, cold, ice. The thing is, there's not going to be enough rain to fix this in a hurry, even if the heat goes away. If we get any at all, it's probably going to be a thunderstorm, a deluge of water that'll just bounce off the land and wash away. Won't soak in. Nobody's allowed to water the corn anymore, so it's not looking terribly good. That's rather small. What I noticed actually this year is there's only one ear per stalk rather than the usual two. This is fairly low-lying. There's a field up the top of the road, which is higher up a hill, and it's just completely brown. But we're in yellow alert for heat wave, and as of tonight, yellow alert for thunderstorms. And because of the sécheresse or the droughts, they're not allowed to water. We can only water sparingly the stuff that's in the potager. That's um, where the leeks and carrots and melons are. During the heat, probably against uh, better advice, I went out and did some work. I scraped away all of the moss here. You can see some of it along the left-hand side there that didn't want to come up, but it's tidy along the side of the house. 
And back here was tidy, but all of the trees are throwing leaves on the ground. But that part there was completely full of moss, so I scraped all that up. Get down the weeds. So I've been doing a few things during the holiday, rather than sitting on my ass watching Netflix. Actually, I've not watched a lot of Netflix during the holiday. Um, mostly, oh, what is it, Alchemy of Souls, a Korean series. And, of course, Paper Girls on Amazon Prime, but... That was it's coming over cloudy, so it won't be quite as hot as they predicted, I hope. But me for lemonade. Oh, yes.